Hi, I'm Nolan, psychotherapist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Do subscribe while you're here. There'll be a link on the video. If you're watching this on my website, do enter your details in the blue link above the video. Um, and I'll ping these um, blogs over to you on a regular basis without any effort on your part as I make them, really. Um, so um, today it's about emotions, which is um, common territory for psychotherapists. Um, I'm not a great believer, though, in following our emotions alone, in sort of just emotionally thinking, and just because it feels like something, um, then it is something. Um, we have to learn to understand our emotions, what they're telling us, and um, how useful they are, and how to communicate them effectively, and how to regulate them. I've written more about it underneath the video and the blog, um, but those are sort of key skills in... Um, uh, communicating uh, effectively and emotionally. Um, so I'm going to use the word affect. So affect is a term that we use meaning your emotion. So to communicate effectively and affectively. Um, emotions give us all sorts of cues as to what's going on, but um, it's important to understand that they come and go. Um, so they're there really as um, guides to situations, whether we should trust or not trust a situation. If you've had a damaging childhood, those guides might be um, out of kilter. You may be codependent, for example, and not understand that something is wrong for you. So you'd have to sort of reset your emotional sort of um, um, compass, I guess, is a good way of thinking about it. Um, but but if you haven't, if you're if you're sort of in touch with your feelings, you can use them as guides, but never use them as the truth of something. Um, so your emotions can tell you essentially things are good or bad. So you trust or don't trust, um, and go with those types of feelings. And then you need all sorts of other things to sort of um, to cue you into whether an action is the correct action or not. Um, emotional regulation is really important. We get that from other people primarily, but then we learn through that how to self-regulate. It, it's quite important as a skill in terms of situations when we're in um, high-pressure situations or highly volatile situations where we may be anxious or very excited, the converse, very excited, but any sort of situation in which we're highly aroused, um, we, we need to sort of learn to regulate those feelings so that we can sort of make better decisions. Um, there, there are various common sense sayings, you know, don't speak when you're angry, for example. It's a common sense saying, isn't it? Don't make a decision when you're happy. Again, it's a common sense saying, but there's a lot of truth in this sort of um, common sense, a lot of truth about how to sort of self-regulate, uh, allow yourself time and space in which to act. Um, don't act on an impulse, whether that's an impulse of fear or an impulse of love or whatever that impulse is. Look before you leap. Um, these, are, these are important skills to learn. I've written more about it, but it's really it's about uh, having knowledge about how to identify your own feelings, how to communicate those feelings effectively, how to understand the emotional landscape that you're in, um, and uh, understand how emotions come and go, and then how to um, regulate those emotions. So those four skills are, are crucial in becoming effective in your affective or emotional communication. Thanks for dropping by, um, hope to see you again, and for today I want to leave you with this saying. I want you to for today to say, today I can feel my feelings, today I can share my feelings, today I can take the right action. So for today, I can feel, I can share, and I can take the right action. Thanks for dropping by.